Hey guys, it's Natalie. So I thought that I would do a video on how to like, or how I take my notes and how I make them look pretty and everything on my iPad Air because I've gotten a lot of questions about it. Like what app do I use? How do I make my notes look neat? What's my system? What like, I don't know. Lots of questions and like compliments. I like didn't think that I had good handwriting on it, but I guess it gets kind of better after you use it for a while. So I thought that I would show you because I thought it would be exciting and helpful. So let's get started. Okay, so let's get started. Um, I have the iPad Air, fourth generation. It's rose gold, it's super cute, love it. So I use the app GoodNotes, which is right here. And so I have all these different notebooks of, you know, different classes and everything. I have to make more for this coming semester. But let's get started and I'll show you how I use it. So, and just like all the different features, I guess, too. Maybe I should like zoom this in a bit. Basically, you have all these different notebooks that you can choose and I'll show you how you do that. So you go to new and here it says notebook, folder, image, scan documents, take photo, import, quick note. So these are pretty much anything that you can do. So you can have a notebook, Oop. you can have a folder. Um, I have only done notebooks so far just because that's like the sort of thing that I needed, but I think it's really cool that you can scan documents and import different stuff and have it all in one place. That's really important to me because I go back and forth from school and home, so I don't want to have to bring like literally everything I own each time. So I'll just pretend like we're making a notebook together. So hit notebook. It's really cool because you have all of these different options for paper. So they have like wide ruled, like narrowed ruled, squared paper, dot paper, just like a blank sheet. They also have a monthly planner, lots of different types of planners. Um, they just have a bunch of stuff. So that's really awesome. Like they just have a lot of diverse ways for you to organize your materials. And I accidentally swiped out of this. Here we go. We're back. Let's first pick our cover, which is so fun. I usually go for, which line do I like? Hmm, oh yeah, I usually go for this color, like the brown, white, and black theme. I've used all of these, so maybe let's go for this one. It's called Plain Beige. And then we'll pick, uh, let's just do Ruled Narrow because I like, like, narrow ruled paper when I write. And then let's call this one YouTube. You can title your notebook. Create. Let's do it. Here we are. And so I'm just gonna bring this down a bit so you can see better. They give you all these different options. So you can have your pen be a fountain pen, a ball pen, or a brush pen. And I think, yeah, I do ball pen. And there's all these different things, draw on, like different settings, draw and hold, stylus, and palm rejection, disconnect Apple Pencil, which no, you don't wanna do because you're writing, unless you like to type, but I like to write. That's why I got the iPad. And then they have your good old eraser. But yeah, you can choose if you want like a big size or a small size, medium size. I think I usually have medium size or small size. It's same with the pencil. Um, you can have like a thin line or you could have, you know, medium line, which is what I usually go for and I'll explain why later. And then they have a thicker line. Let's take our eraser and erase that. Don't need that. Then they also have highlighters. Ooh, that's so fun. But what I really love about the pencil and the pen is that you can choose different colors and have presets so that you can always have it like readily available. And then you see these colors up here. It like is your most recent ones that you've been using. So if you're kind of like alternating between highlighters, it's like really easy just to click it. So I also really like for my highlighters to do pastel colors. You can do different presets. So these are just easily accessible for me, but then you can also also customize them and make them a preset like it did not come with those cute colors it was like bright red bright orange and bright yellow but again I like pastels so you can I'll just like make one for you and then I'll delete it later but let's say I want bright green which I would never but if you do go off let's say I want to add that to presets I would never but here it is now so I can use it whenever I want like if I click here it's there and it's not really cute, but yeah. And the same goes for the pencil. I usually stick with gray because I think that that like, like writing in black is just like a really big contrast and like kind of harsh, especially if you like are getting used to writing. So I like to go for a gray color to write in. Um, because I think it makes it look a little bit more neat if that makes sense. This icon up here, it's like if you have to draw a circle or like a square, it'll just like make it nice for you. Cause like that's not really great, but they made a good oval for me or like a box. Let's do a little triangle. Yeah, I'm just gonna erase these really quick. Let's use the bigger eraser to do it faster. This little like dashed circle thing is really great. Um, so let's just write something really quick. I like to zoom in and then write. So I'm just gonna write, hi, you 
YouTube. I usually write better, but we're just going fast for right now. So that's a little disclaimer. Okay, and then you can circle this and then you can move it to another line. So that's really neat. And it can be, you know, anything you draw. I love that feature. I use it like a lot. Cause sometimes, you know, when you're like writing down something and then the teacher goes back and you're like, shoot, like this should be up here, but I already wrote. You can like move everything around for yourself if you want. You can put in pictures, take pictures. Um, you can also just like type, which is this one. And then I actually don't know what this one is. Oh, this is a laser pointer. It's kind of fun. So if you're like studying or something and want to highlight something to someone, you should be like, this is what I'm talking about. Okay. <laughs> kind of fun. I don't really use that though. Okay. So I think think that that's almost all the features except one. I'm gonna go to a different notebook to show you this because I have words written in other notebooks and it just makes more sense. Let's go to PR and this is just an example of some notes that I have and how I take them. I'll go more in depth in a bit but um, one thing that I really love about this app is that you can search your notes and I guess it will only work if your handwriting is like somewhat readable to your iPad. Let's say I'm looking up the word crisis. So you can search in this notebook. I'll just type in crisis. And it'll show me here all of the different places that it shows up in my notebook. Let's say I'm looking for the definition of crisis. I see it right here so I can click on it and it brings me straight to the place in my notes where I have the definition written. And then you can also click over here and it'll just take you to all the different pages that it occurs in your notebook. So that's kind of similar to like pressing, I think it's like command F on your MacBook because it kind of like will search the word for you and take it to it. So it's really helpful when you're trying to find key terms. And I love that feature. Like I absolutely love that feature so much. Now I'm going to show you how I take my notes and how I keep it neat. So I guess I'll just write like a fake page for you and we'll see. So I like to have my iPad sideways because I like to zoom in when I write. And then as I write, Right? I like scroll this way and you want to make sure that you stay like the same amount zoomed in because then your words will like see, stay the same size that you write because like let's say if I'm writing like this this close up and I go hi YouTube and then I like zoom out here and then well, let's go a little bit similar and I go hi YouTube it's like they look like different sizes now when you zoom all the way out that looks a little bit bigger than that if that makes sense i don't know i don't know if these are things that people care about but i care about it um so i like keeping it at a consistent zoom in as i'm going and then i'll just scroll down and then write you know another thing what i like to do is i like to make headers for the topic i'm writing about so let's call this one youtube so then I go into my highlighter and let's say, what's my favorite? I think I like the pink the best, so I'll do that for you guys because I love it. When you're highlighting something, it kind of like does it straight for you so it doesn't look as messy. Then I'll just, you know, write notes, like let's say video, ideas, um, collabs, sponsorships. And let's say, oh, I just accidentally, oh yeah, something that I don't like about the iPad, like let's just be real here for a second, is that when you like double tap, did you see that, that switches? It switches from being on the pen to the eraser and then pen to the eraser. Like some people might like that, but I always accidentally bump it and I wish I could turn that off. I bet I probably could. I'll have to look into it, but I hate that. I'd rather just like click it myself because it always catches me off guard. And then let's do sub subscribers love them thank you for subscribing guys um so that's just kind of how i write my notes and then um when i am back here and i'm going to like a different topic with something that i love to talk about i love to talk about my dogs so i'll do oopsie so i'll go doggos then i'll just go ahead and highlight that and you see it kind of like straighten it out for you i think because it knows you're trying to highlight those words so it like kind of moves over it and yeah, so that's how I set it up. So this is just like an example again of some notes that I've made. This is my PR notebook. And also I think I forgot to mention this, but 
you can have different notebooks open at different times. So this one says YouTube, HR management, information systems, notebook, PR. And then you can just, you know, exit out of them if you want. So they're kind of like tabs when you're like Google searching. But yeah, so I'll just close all of them. I just wanted to show you if I were to continue that process that I showed you, how it would kind of look. So I think that this is just a really nice way to achieve notes that do look pretty and cute but are also organized and not a lot of like time consuming or anything like that. I feel like when I watch videos like this on YouTube, it's always like you do this, 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 this. And but it's like when you're in class, the professor talks so fast. So this is definitely an achievable way to do these notes and a way to make them look cute. But that's also realistic because I don't know, I can't draw like do calligraphy while I'm trying to like write my notes and draw a little like a math book or something. Like, I don't know, like draw pictures for it. I don't have time for that. And my teacher does not a lot time for that when they're talking. So I feel like this is just the perfect way to do it if you want organized notes. Oh, I'm getting a text message. So I hope that this video was helpful for you guys. Oh my god, I just knocked over a, what is this, push pop? I hope that this was helpful for you guys. I didn't really know anything about iPads and like how to take notes on them before my friend Natalie, shout out to Natalie, she told me that she uses GoodNotes. I think there's also like Notability, but I kind of went off on her recommendation and tried GoodNotes and I absolutely love it. I actually wish that I had an iPad for like all of my school career or got it sooner. I mean, I know that the pencil just came out somewhat recently, so that wasn't like actually able to happen, but I wish like if you are just starting college or high school, definitely invest in an iPad Air and an iPad pad pencil because it makes note taking more fun and just like more organized and you don't have all these notebooks and stuff it's just it's better so if you can definitely splurge do it highly recommend and you can even use it in work like i'm using it for my work to get organized like my internship because you know gotta keep everything organized so that you stay on top of everything i hope you guys like this video thank you so much for watching don't forget to comment like and subscribe we're growing the family i think we're at like 1100 subscribers so go off sis love you guys thanks for watching bye